Gav should be back by now. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. Ah, Clive! How <laughs> I've missed that scowl! Where's my report? What no kind words be ruled pal well, you're out. Fucking wasted. <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> This is gonna hurt. It's back again. There's the Moogle board. Otto's counter is now open.
The following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliance reports the Patrons Whisper and the Hunt Board. All three are located in autos near auto -less. What are we waiting for indeed? Oh, we got a side fucking quest. Uh, just soon as we're getting ready to leave. I think it's all right to touch him. Just as soon as we're ready to leave, more chorin. Hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. <laughs> oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. That's awesome. attack yeah running table a bird by any other name forgive my instinct of writing you these silly letters with that we had more time to speak to each other in person but for every day we spend together it feels as though we must suffer another two part I'm gladdened to hear of your most unexpected beginning of Ambrosia, or should I say Whiteheart. She told me once how your trucker will sacrifice to herself to protect you a night at Phoenix Gate. Here, so many years later, we find she has spent her life doing that exact same thing, defending others. Some things never change, do they? Bye. Thank you. That led me downstairs, but it did it. <laughs> that 
brooms as rugged as You two look like you could use something to eat. Yeah. Courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. Aye, and brave as a bane might. <laughs> Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and <laughs> rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. Them old apples were enough to curdle your guts. <laughs> the more apples were ass. A gift from the back. A complete ass. For your service. Mm, 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 mm. Like super ass. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. <laughs> Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? They yeah. are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. It don't. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. What's the matter, Nectar? The matter is this cupo. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Mm -hmm. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Thank you, Koopa. It's good to have someone who understands me, Koopa. I'll stay here then keep an eye on all the bullets that get posted on the board. If there's anything you need to know, view the hump board. Angel of Death. Traitor coming by the way of Met with a troop of curse papers traveling. Oh, the curse for on the Broken Hilt Rosaria. Oh, Clive, welcome to the Patron's Whisper. 
the patrons whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Business is busy. Up of my regular duties at work. Otto has about countless other tasks from transcribing, sort of stole those reports, heading needful misses. Uh, planning, mine, I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Gara back in the old hideaways. I won't claim to have been his best student, though that honor wish your lay. Still. Still, I just like to think Jara would be proud of me too, where he was with us today. Like years, words, words are immortal. Are immortal. They live on in others. And if words are your own, so too will. Do you know who told me that? It was Jara. It was our last session before Titan came. It stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become what I am today. I imagine the survivors all have a story like this. Of course, Sobo remains with us, even though they're gone. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Uh, Cl completing side quests will earn Cly renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whispers in Hideaway's Mess to view current renown levels and accept any donations available uh talk to the tea house she or mary ben about laws and stashing deeds of their they're doing all the talk amongst the ladies of the court we've gathered together several items which you might continue to you earned this oh damn ability points shit I gave you that one, didn't I? Here you are. <laughs> Sorry, but you're not quite there yet. All done? Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. Ain't unavailable. Fuck. Ain't shit available. Always something in there. We're gonna finish this quest and then we're gonna end the session here with all the noise in the fuck. I hear there's trouble in Granny. It's alright to touch him. Clive. So, what it be? And? breakers send their thanks and their compliments they were clearly very fond of martel they remembered her a after all these years i suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me you were one of the good ones martel why did you have to die 
she put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? 